All right, should the Detroit Lions go after Xavier Howard or Stefan Gilmore? Let's talk about it. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Share the video. If you didn't know, both of these cornerbacks are having problems with their um, teams. Uh, Stefan Gilmore said to make $7 million for the Patriots. They don't want to budge on it, so he's not at camp right now. Um, you know, Xavier Howard's having some problems, but let's talk about Stefan Gilmore. Um, first, check out Detroit Lions on playlist, share the video. Right now, he's 30 years old. Um, he, he'll be 31 in September, okay? Uh, last year, he played 11 games, started 11 games, had one pick, okay? Uh, they missed a lot of guys in the front seven. Um, but overall, his career, he's been a good corner, got ideal size at 161, or above ideal size. Um, Super Bowl champion, uh, he won with the Patriots. He been there since 17, defensive player of the year in 2019. That's damn near unheard of from a cornerback. Two-time ball pro, 18 and 19, four-time pro bowler, led the interceptions in 19, Cole, um, went to South Carolina University. Um, with him, yeah, I think, I think he need to go to a contender. You're talking about Tampa Bay, um, Seattle can use his help, San Francisco can use his help. Uh, who else? You uh, 49ers can use his help. The Cowboys can use his help. Um, I don't know if you consider them a contender. Um, Steelers can use his help. Ravens, Ravens got they can use his help because they always get torched by Mahomes. Uh, Tennessee can use his help. They're not trading him in division. They're not trading him Kansas City, but those are teams that can use him. Parts of Detroit, man, we a team on the rise. Of course, it could change if Aaron Rodgers don't play this year. Uh, teams can, they can look at us different because. We can have a chance. I mean, but I think you at the point where I think you're thinking about um, do you want to pay Amani Arariye? Do you want to pay Arariye? That's what you ask yourself because, or you ask yourself, are you tired of, uh, are you tired, or you, or you don't believe in Jeff Okuda? You know what I'm saying? And we're going to give Afante a couple years to develop. That's what it is. You know, Arariye is in his third year. I'm pretty sure his contract is coming up. So you ask yourself, Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda or Rarie? You know, that's what you get because a Cornell to play on the inside. That's exactly what you ask yourself. And the Rarie been pretty good, especially without a pass rush up front. Okay, um, let's look up his contract. Because you would be sending him back. Boop, boop. Wait, get the Jeopardy man. We waiting, but. I like Aurora. Yeah, um, yeah. This he got two. He got one more year on his contract, right? He only making ninety. He only making eight hundred fifty thousand this year. Signing bonus eighty thousand. So, like I said, you know, if they if they want to keep him, and he have a good camp, I'm signing Aurora right now. You know, I'm changing the culture. I'm signing Aurora right now. He showed enough improvement. He been good even with, without a good front line. Um, but that's the question you got to ask yourself. If you're getting Stephon Gilmore or Xavier Howard, are we ready to move on from Arariye or is it Okuda? Because guess what? Gilmore with a new contract. Xavier Howard with a new contract. And Arariye got a new contract. Now, Arariye has been very, very good for um, the lines that people forget. He only started a year and some change at the University of Penn State University. All right? I said again, he only started a year and some change at Penn State University. He only 25 years old, right? And he's getting better and better. So... Do I want to change a 25-year-old for, for a 31-year-old about to be a 27, 28-year-old to be Xavier Howard? I don't know. And do I want to pay him and then also pay Stephon Gilbert or Xavier in a Mario Rari, yeah. Or do, you know, because that, that means you'd be getting rid of Jeff Okuda. My thing is, I like the youth in the back end. I think you're looking amongst safeties. But guess what? I'm okay with staying packed right now. Now, if Rodgers, you know, choose, chooses not to play this year or he get traded, then maybe... Maybe if you are the Lions, maybe you sit there and go for it. Maybe you try to trade for Michael Thomas and try to go for a division title right now, you know, and, and kind of get a little bit more job security on the back end. Maybe you try to go out there and try to find a safety. You know, Jamal Adams not happy in Seattle, okay? Maybe you go out there and go for it. I think Aaron Rodgers' decision is going to really change the trajectory of the, the three other teams in there. And it might be changing the trajectory of, the, of uh, the Packers. They might get desperate and try to go – Get more help for it, for uh for Jordan Love. So, in my opinion, man, I think Aaron Rodgers' decision is really gonna impact guys like Xavier Howard and Stephon Gilmore and other guys out there that's French players that might get traded. 
I do. I, th I think you might see a situation where some of those guys, you know, the Vikings, the Bears, Packers, and Lions may go for it and say the division is wide open. Even though we don't know what Jordan Love got, and Jordan Love is a very talented quarterback, but he ain't Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers cover up some deficiencies for the um, Green Bay Packers. So my thing is, um, that's your decision. Then we look at Xavier Howard. All right. Um, he got a, a re he got a record contract last year a couple years ago from the Dolphins. I don't know what happened. The guaranteed money by be out. He from Houston. He born in '93. He, oh, he a Fourth of July baby. All right, 27 years old. Okay, he had one sack last year. Two time Pro Bowler made the Pro Bowl in '18. Made the Pro Bowl last year. First team All Pro last year. So what you getting here is a 28 year old corner that's in his prime. Six one, two oh one. Um, went to Baylor. Second round pick. He led the league in picks in 18. He led the pick lead league in picks last year. So what you're getting from him is, and he didn't run the 40-yard dash fast, but he played fast. What you're getting here is a guy that's at the top of his game. That's what you're getting. You're getting a guy that's at the peak, of, the peak of his ability. All right? And like I said before, if Aaron Rodgers chooses not to come back to the Packers, don't be surprised if somebody in this division get desperate and trade for this guy, knowing the division is wide open. Okay? They said he holding out. Last year, he got a uh, he got ten picks. You know, he's a guy to come in there and change it. You know, if you would you paint or you know, then your, your capologist has to project. We go to Rory and say, probably pay him, and we got to pay Howard. Can we pay a Rory and Howard and still build a balanced team? Is the question. You know, and. Quite frankly, I'll take Howard over um, Stephon Gilmore just for the fact he's younger. He had to peak of his game. I think Gilmore is going to a contender. Buffalo, back to Buffalo. I don't think they trade him in the division, so he's going to a contender. Okay. So, uh, let's see what's going on with his contract. Sports track take a while to build up. So, uh, right now, he signed a five-year $75 million uh, contract. Seven million dollar bonus, fifteen over fifteen million guaranteed, right? So it's a potential out next year. Uh, with only almost three million dollars in dead money, right? He can get out after next year. You know, he's still guaranteed. You know, basically the fifteen this year, I believe, almost. Um, you know, I think he won't guarantee money. So I mean, his contract, you could redo it. I guess that's what he wants. He probably want to be one of the highest paid corners in the league. Let's pull up who's the high, highest paid corners. Um, let's see kind of where they going. I thought he was the highest paid. Jalen Ramsey is the highest paid. So Ramsey is a hundred got a hundred million dollar contract, twenty million dollars a year. Marlon Humphrey behind him, ninety seven million and a half con million dollar contract, nineteen and a half million a year. Tre'Davious White, sixty nine million dollar contract, seventeen million dollars. So I he wants. To be paid the highest corner back in the league. Um, Jalen Ramsey, I'm not sure what he did last year. I know he didn't get it, probably didn't have a lot of picks. But Xavier Howard statistically is probably the best corner in the league last year. Okay. And um he was uh he was first team all pro too last year. Um Jalen Ramsey, okay. Um you look continue off to look at Jalen continue to look at Jalen Ramsey. They didn't throw at him a lot, he only had one pick last year, but he shut shit down on his side, but Statistically, Xavier Howard is a better corner. I think overall, Jalen Ramsey is a better is the be better corner. But I think you know Xavier Howard is right there with him. And Howard and Ramsey is you know I think they both the same age. Uh, Ramsey is twenty seven. He'll be tw uh, he twenty six. He'll be twenty seven in um in October twenty fourth. Um, Xavier Howard he is twenty. So he'll be twenty eight. So yeah, man. I think uh honestly, I think uh. I think Xavier Howard deserved a contract, but then you just signed a contract. How you finesse your way out of a contract. So, honestly, um, in this situation, I wouldn't give up on Arari. I would give up on Okuda. Okay? And not, no no distraction. I'm trading Okuda and what I could for Howard, but what I would do is stay packed. If Rogers Chin and I come back, and Okuda not looking good in camp, but I'll stay with the young core and see what we got. But out of the two, I go with Xavier and Howard. But... I stay packed, and if Rodgers doesn't play this year, doesn't come to camp, and Okuda don't look good, then I highlight the Dolphins. But 
you know, I don't think the Dolphins are making him available, but we'll see. But uh, let me know what you guys think. But they did trade Mika Fitzpatrick when he wanted to be traded. So, Brian Flores and Chris Greer, they will trade you. But uh, check out our Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Don't forget, we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all my social media links there. You can reach out anytime. If you have a business question, inquire, response, your video request. We want to advertise your business on the channel. All my links open. Twitter's the password and Facebook and Instagram are really not there on there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. MRC Sports Talk. Check my other channel, Good Fellow Sports TV, right on YouTube. More sports, music, news, and entertainment. Peace. All right, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers. So make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he going to hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but, man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace.